Darling, you sent me a you. Hi guys, and welcome back to That Guy Sews. Now, before anyone sort of says anything, I'd like to say sorry, you know, I've been gone for a while. There has been a reason for a few of these things, and I suppose what I'm going to do now is just spend a few minutes um, explaining where I've been and what I've been up to, and 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 yeah. So I did film um, a couple of videos about six weeks ago, and one of them was a sort of end of summer haul. Now it would be absolutely pointless to actually put that video out there now because considering it's autumn, winter. Oh, sorry. Now it'd be pretty pointless to put that one out there now because it is autumn winter. So that video has pretty much gone down the drain. Um, I have been on holiday. So some of the stuff I will be showing you today is some things I bought when I was on holiday. I went to Cyprus with my family and my girlfriend. Actually, funnily enough, I got engaged to my girlfriend whilst I was on holiday. So she is now my fiance and hence why the last month I've been pretty much haywire. We've been sort of back and forth looking at loads and loads of different venues and different dates and stuff like that. So it's been really, really exciting, but I just haven't had a minute to, to get back into the workshop and really start making clothes again. So I'm back now. I'm gonna show you through some of the things that I actually bought when I was in Cyprus, because I did manage to find a couple of fabric shops and I was really happy with with the quality of fabrics out there. So I'm gonna show you guys through some of that. Now, the first the first bit of fabric, and for me, one of the most exciting, is this sort of military jersey knit. It's like a knit fabric, as you can see. And it's gonna be absolutely perfect for this autumn and winter. Now, this is something I really did not expect to get in Cyprus when it's 34 degrees. Um, hence why I'm so sort of surprised to see it and to be honest I absolutely love this and cannot wait to make sort of a cable knit jumper, a knitted hoodie, sweat, something out of this. So yeah, I really can't wait for that one. And I think it was only around about four euros a metre, so I got a couple of metres of that because that was all they had left, otherwise I'd have got a lot more. Now on to the next one. Now this is uh, quite a bold sort of print. My brother's partner um, <laughs> actually convinced me to get this. It's certainly not something I would wear. It's a little bit too sheer, but it does have a bit of a stretch in it. And knowing my brother's partner, this is something that he would love to wear, but it's probably something that I imagine will sit, sit on my shelves for a few months until we get past the winter, because it is a very sort of lightweight, uh, one-way stretch. So I think for me, It'll be great to work with this because I've never really worked with a material like this before and it is really bold and a really great print. But probably just not for not for this time of year. Now the next one is this, I suppose, peachy sort of it looks very, very vibrant and very orange on camera actually, but it's a lot, it's a lot cooler than that. It is more of a sort of peachy colour. Um, now again this is a stretch knit and I've loved this colour for a while and I'm pretty certain that Hannah's going to want me to make her a dress out of this and don't worry Hannah, it's nowhere near as bright as it does look on screen and I think this would be perfect for a dress and I managed to get quite a lot of it as well so I'll probably manage to get, I'll probably be able to make a couple of things out of this so let me know in the comments section below with sort of these fabrics what kind of things you guys think I should be making out of them. And I've got two fabrics left. Now I went into a fabric shop, which it was very Cypriot. There was sort of no English people around. And bless him, this old guy was so cute. And he said, ah, oh, it's two euros per meter on everything. And he was just the sweetest guy ever. And I really didn't actually find anything that I loved, but I just wanted to get something because I really, I don't know, I really connected with him. I thought he was a really sweet guy. And I did find this sort of very, bold very very bold fabric here um with sort of in, it looks like indian headdress and indian headpieces and stuff like that on it so yeah it's really fun really crazy um i'm not really sure what i would make out of it maybe like a, a summer shirt or something like that but again let me know in the comment section below so 
sorry, I have got a cold, so you'll have to bear with me. Let me know in the comment section below if there's if there's some crazy ideas that you think I should give this a go for. I finally did get my hair cut, by the way. It took me so long, but I literally, this is the shortest I think I've ever had it. And I am really happy. It just takes a little bit of getting used to it first. Now, the last thing that I did buy is something I had my eye on as soon as I got in there. Now, I personally have never made a, a men's shirt before, which is so bizarre. But where I focus primarily on sort of streetwear fashion, I've never made a shirt, but I'm, I'm sort of really super excited to, to get into this and really make one. Now, I got this gold and it's got like a silver pinstripe. I'm not sure if you can quite see it. It's like a gold with a silver pinstripe. Now this is a really, really premium cotton and it was quite expensive. I think it was about, um, well it originally was 20 euros a meter and luckily I sort of charmed the woman and she gave it me for 10 euros a meter. So in the end it wasn't very expensive and I did get a couple of meters of it, but it just feels so soft and I really want to make a sort of luxurious men's shirt out of this. I think it would be, oh, it would just be perfect and something that I know for a fact I would wear. So if there's any brilliant men's shirt patterns out there guys, please let me know in the comments section below because I will be looking for the right one for me and I'll be making it out of this fabric. So definitely let me know about that one. Now that's it for all of the fabrics that I bought on holiday. I was actually really impressed. I thought I might get a couple of bits and bobs, more cottons than anything else, purely because of the heat out there. I didn't expect there to be any heavy, heavy materials like heavy jerseys and, and, and stuff like that. So I was really happy. Um, the holiday itself was absolutely amazing. And obviously I did get myself engaged. Uh, it was the most nerve-wracking thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. You know, obviously being on the BBC and being on telly and stuff absolutely does not compare to trying to ask somebody to spend the rest of their life with you. What I will do is I will insert the moment that I actually did that because I did record it and it's such a, a proud moment of mine in my entire life and I'd love to share it with you guys. That's it for this video. I'm back in the game now, so I will be trying to sort of get one or two videos out, maybe three or four every month. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future. I'm going to be doing an autumn winter collection, sort of a showdown of the kinds of outfits that I would like to wear in autumn and winter. I'm also going to be doing um, some sort of some videos, a little bit about me, so you guys can understand a bit about why I do what I do and what drives me and stuff like that. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Honest, you do.